Hello team and welcome to today's video in Excel where I'll be sharing with you how to create various types of calendars you can utilize without the need for any formulas. Let's jump in. To create a calendar using this method, head to the File tab in your Excel workbook. In the top section, select More Templates, and then you can select Calendars. On this screen, Excel gives you a wide variety of calendar options to choose from. While you're given the ability to customize or adjust the calendar options to your needs, you want to select the option that gets you the closest to what you're initially looking for. Assuming I want to start off with the calendar that shows me each month on a single tab with the ability to leave notes, I'll select the academic calendar. Once you select that template, just click create and your calendar has been loaded. In these Excel calendar templates, you have the ability to adjust them as needed. So for example, if instead of starting in the month of September, I could start in January and you'll see all the dates below have been updated to reflect the correct day. Additionally, I can go over here to the right and change the starting year to my preferred year. And again, you'll see the dates have updated. If I zoom out a bit and scroll down, you can see the other months are also reflected within this calendar with their correct respective days. One of the other benefits of this calendar template is you can add notes beneath each calendar date. So for example, I could enter that a presentation is due on a certain day and copy this down to other important dates where a presentation is due. With these reminders entered, I could also use Control plus A twice on the keyboard to highlight all the data, then go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and select text that contains. If I enter the word due in the search box, you'll see all the important dates where a presentation is due are now highlighted for my audience. So I can click OK, and now those dates are emphasized. If the current space in each row is also larger than you'd prefer, you can select all the rows by clicking one of the numbers on the left and dragging down. You can also press Control Shift down after selecting one of the rows to highlight all of the rows within the spreadsheet. With the rows selected, I can move my cursor in between the borders until you get this icon you see here with the double-sided arrow. I can then reduce the size of the rows and you'll see they have been adjusted. Again, team, keep in mind, there are various other calendar templates you can utilize in Excel. This, for example, is the business calendar and you can change the respective year by clicking the up or down arrows and all the months are listed within the single tab. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.